So, you want to learn how to make ring rotations like this. Well, I'm here to help you out. So this right here is what the scripting looks like. And in order to get to that screen, you hold shift, click on the ring rotation or ring zoom, and then hit the key N. What I'm going to do for you guys to make this 10 times easier is I'm going to leave a template in the description. Now, the codes are a tiny bit different depending on if you're on the stable build or the development build of Chromapper. For example, this is the layout on the stable build, and this is the layout on the dev build. The difference is, for the development build, you don't have to put an underscore for each label. There is also this helpful guide on GitHub, link also in description. Rotation dictates how far the first ring will spin. Step dictates how much rotation is added between each ring. Prop dictates dictates the rate at which ring behind the first one has physics applied to them. And speed, of course, dictates the speed multiplier of the rings. You can also choose a direction to spin the rings. You can put one to spin clockwise or zero to spin counterclockwise. So to show you an example, rotation 9999, step negative 1000, prop 0 0.7, speed 0 0.01. And you can go ahead and mess with this as much as you want to your liking. Now, if I were to change it up a bit, wanted the speed to be normal and just wanted the rings to rotate at 360 degrees with no step and a little bit of delay between each ring, it will look like this. After getting used to all that, you can just go ahead and mess with the scripting. It is really fun to come up with so many random ideas. Hope this tutorial helped. Thanks.